Everybody, Heather here from Heather's Hobby Haven, and today we are going to be coloring our February watercoloring kit of the month. And this month's kit features Magnolia's Ribbon Tilda. And so this is the finished card. I've already um, stamped my image on my Canson Montval 140 pound watercolor paper, and I use Ranger's Archival Jet Black Ink to stamp her. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my medium um, tank water brush and I've got my paper towel and I'm going to test it to see if it's how wet it is and I want my paper towel when I touch it to absorb a little bit of water. And it's a little wet so I'm going to dab a little bit off. I don't want it to make a huge puddle when I'm coloring so I just want it when I touch the paper towel to leave a little bitty space so it kind of makes the paper towel wet right there. Okay, and so to start off coloring, I'm going to um, shadow my image with antique linen. Okay, so I've got my little bit on the end of my brush, and I'm going to lay down my, my ink right along the side of her dress. And I'm going to go down until it runs out almost. So I've gotten down here, and it's pretty gone. And so I'm going to wipe the rest that I have on my brush off. So now my brush only has water, and I'm going to take my brush, and I'm just going to feather this line of ink that I laid down away from the line I put down until it just becomes nothing. And see it's feathered out here into just white. And then I'm going to grab me a little bit more on the end of my brush and I'll do the same thing all the way around. So again I'll go up here and I'll lay down a line right next to her arm. And here I'm going to stop here because that's where I started my last line and then wipe your brush off and then just use the water in your brush to feather the line away to white. And you may need to dab your brush off again in between if you have quite a bit on there. Alright, so I've added a nice light shadow all the way around and I'll probably come back and I can add some more shadows in um, like underneath of her face right here where it would be darker, underneath of her hand, um, where her dress is right here underneath of her leg, um, again here underneath this hand, but I want this to dry and then I'll come back and I'll add that later. Alright, so while my shadow is drying, I'm going to go and I'm going to add a little bit of color to her face and for that I'm going to start out with Tattered Rose. And so I want it to, I want my brush to be laid down where I want it to be darkest first. So I'm going to put my color on this side of her face because I want it to be the lightest over here today. So again, just like the shadowing, I'm going to lay down a, my line of color next to her hair. And then I'm just going to take my brush and wipe it across her face.
and it's gotten pretty light over here but I still have a little bit on my brush so I'm going to wipe that off and then I'm going to again use my water just to spread this ink that I laid down into the center of her face. Okay, and then we'll go down here and add some to her neck. And the whole the whole point of moving around is this gives it a chance to dry her face to dry so we can add some more color um, up there and layer it on. And I noticed too that my brush is getting a little bit dry so I'm just going to give it a little bitty squish and give it a little bit more water and try that and see if I need to maybe squish it a little bit more. But we'll just start with that first. I'll come down here, wipe my brush off, spread it out. Okay, and then we're going to go up and add some more color to her face because that's now dry. So like I said, you're going to pick where you want it to be shadowed. So I want mine to be a little bit more, have a little bit more definition like right here. Maybe underneath of her arm here to be a little bit darker where it's casting a shadow on her dress. Same down here underneath of her dress. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go up and add some shadows to her face. And for that, I'm going to mix a couple colors. So I'm going to get my little laminated sheet. And I'm going to grab me a little bit of um, Tattered Rose. So I've dipped my brush in there and I have about this much on there. And I'm just going to wipe it like this. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to... Well, let's wipe my brush off first. So I'm going to wipe all this that I have extra on my brush, so now it's just water again. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to grab just a little bitty bit, just barely on the end of my brush of tea dye, and then I'm just going to mix that in. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe my brush off before I use it, because I don't want all that, it's a lot on there. So then just to, for my shadowing, I'm just going to grab a little bit of this off my, my paper,
And to add some shadows to my to my tilde, I'm going to just maybe put a little bit underneath on her neck. And then shadow this side of her face a little bit more, up here underneath of her hairline. And then I wipe my brush off and I use just the water to pull it away from that side out into her face. And I'm going to do the same thing for her arm. So I'll go down here where I wanted to have a little bit of shadow and I would say underneath her sleeve and down the side of her arm and then wipe my brush off and then use my water just to spread that ink out just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same for this side. Underneath of her sleeve and right next to her dress, maybe down here underneath where her hand cups under, it'll be a little shadowed. Wipe your brush off and then use just the water to spread the line out a little bit. Okay. All right, so for her cheeks, I'm going to get my just get a little dab of um, tattered rose on my end of my brush just to get it wet a little bit. And so I'm just going to take my tattered rose and I'm going to just swirl it around here where I want her cheek to be. So it's got a little bitty damp spot, but that wasn't very much ink. You can barely see it. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of worn lipstick on the end of my brush. And worn lipstick is really dark. So a little bit is all you need. Just barely a tad on the end of your brush. And then I'm just going to use that little circle I made and add this on top of that. And then wipe your brush off and I'll just kind of pat the edges with just water to soften the, the edges of the circle a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So I'm going to grab me a little bit of tattered rose and then I'm going to make me a circle on her cheek. And I'm going to make this side a little bit darker because this is a shadowed side. And then again I'm going to grab me just a tiny, tiny bit of worn lipstick. And I'm just going to use the circle I made to put that down in. And then I'll wipe my excess off and then just use the water and just tap, tap, tap it on that circle on the edges just to soften it. And you may need to wipe your brush off because remember, every time you tap it, you're picking up ink. Okay, and that's pretty good for a first coat. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to see what it looks like and see if maybe I want to add a little bit more color. I'm going to grab me just a little bit of scattered charm. Remember, if your dress, brush is dried, don't forget to give it a little squeeze every now and then. So I'm going to grab me a little bit of scattered straw and I'm going to start right here in the part of her hair because it's darkest right there. I'm going to lay down my ink in the part and that's quite a bit of ink. That's pretty dark so I'm going to wipe my the little bit I still have on my brush off and I'm just going to use water to spread this down onto the rest of her hair. Same for this side. We're just going to go right along and we're going to pull that down into her hair. But it's okay that it's still a little bit dark in the part because you're going to darken that up anyway. I just want to add a little bit of color over here onto the rest of her hair on um, parts that may not get color later. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for her ponytails. So I'll grab me a little bit more and it's going to be darkest right here next to her face. So I'm going to put a little bit right there. Same for this side. Wipe my brush off. And then just use the water in my brush to pull that out into her ponytail. Same for this side. And just pull it out there. Okay, and then we're going to let that dry. 